the Old Testament prophets sometimes are can seem pretty harsh to us in, in, in reading them. Ezekiel can be one of those, and our reading today is from Ezekiel chapter 1, 2, and 3, and from Revelation chapter 2. Uh, but these verses in, e in Ezekiel are, are really potent, and uh, he was a, a priest and a prophet, and he ministers during some of the darkest days of Judah's history, that 70-year uh, period that we know as the Babylonian captivity. And so uh, a really, really important uh, passage of Scripture that deals with this. And, and I was particularly uh, taken with chapter 3, verses 20 and 21. And I've entitled our devotion today, Delivering One Soul. Uh, and here's what it says in chapter 3, verse 20 and 21. Again, when a righteous man turns from his righteousness and commits iniquity, and I lay a stumbling block before him, he shall die. Because you did not give him warning, he shall die in his sin. And his righteousness, which he has done, shall not be remembered. But his blood I will require at your hand. Nevertheless, if you warn the righteous man that the righteous should not sin, and he does not sin, he shall surely live because he took warning. Also, you have delivered your soul. The seriousness of proclaiming the word of God is uh, really quite graphically and boldly proclaimed in these verses. It's one of, uh, I think it's one thing to see and quite another to proclaim what one sees. Uh, there's a grave responsibility for all who preach the word. And I, I don't mean that just in the sense of uh, pastors and teachers, but I think each and every one of us are to be proclaimers of the word of God. And so uh, there is a grave responsibility for each and every one of us. And when I think of that in terms of what I see in the church today, what's going on in our world and in our country particularly, it it gives me a heavy heart. Even in my own life, I, I have to confess the, the need to hear and heed the word of God on so many levels. Uh, it's, it's just critical for our lives. And I must heed the warning to turn from those things that I know are sin and displeasing to the Lord. Each and every one of us carries that responsibility. But I have also been given the responsibility to proclaim the truth of the Word of God. The thing that is so heavy is to do it with a broken heart and not in a condemning way. Sometimes we can come across as heavy-handed and, and feel like we are almost a, like our, like we're angry when we're preaching that. And yet, the reality of it is the warning is because of sin and because of the destruction that it causes. And that should cause us to have a heavy heart and not be uh, to come across as angry and, and shouting. And uh, you understand what I'm saying. Uh, it's just it's just so critical that, you know, if we're telling people that they're going to, to hell, that we tell them with tears running down our face, not in a manner that is condemning, although sin is going to condemn people to that. But the warning that that came through Ezekiel was was from the heart of God who loved his people. And the purpose for the warning was for them to turn away from their sin so that they would be healed, not, not to lift up the prophet or to, to uh, cause him to be glorified but or, or to have his ego stroke for proclaiming the word of God. That's not the purpose of it all. The glory of it all is that it, the glory goes to God and not to man because God who loves us, who cares about us, is, is proclaiming the truth and sounding a warning so that we turn away from those things that are causing death and destruction. I think the revelation that Ezekiel received of the glory of the Lord in chapter 1 added to the realization of, of who God was and therefore I think put a holy fear in his heart. And uh, I, I don't know about you, but I think I can use a little more of that holy fear in my own heart. We serve a glorious and awesome and wonderful God and he is mighty, and in his presence, we couldn't even stand in our natural state. That's why we need a new body. We're going to get one, praise the Lord. But in the meantime, what are we to do? We are to proclaim the truth of the word of God, deliver our soul, to let people know, to warn men to flee from the wrath that is coming. The day of grace is here right now. Today is the day of salvation, but there is coming a day when the door is going to be closed, and we need to warn men and let them know to deliver our soul from uh, with the word, with the message that God has given to us to proclaim. In Jesus and in Jesus alone, is there any hope in this world? Well, I pray the Lord will bless you today and that as you take time in the word, meditating and thinking and praying, that God will use you to proclaim the message of his love to a world that is lost 
and dying without him. May the Lord richly bless you today.